So here we are back on my new uh, train line. You can see the dome there in the distance, the jungle tree, and uh, off in the distance this way you can see Singularity Station up there. And uh, what I decided to do is add a little rest stop. So let's go check it out. So this is uh, this is my new little rest stop, and what it's about is uh, is basically it's the uh, Natural Food and Lighting Eatatorium and Illumimart. And uh, basically you can get food or you can get lighting. You know, all your food and lighting needs all in one store. So anyway, it's pretty simple. Um, these plates, this plate doesn't do anything other than stop the water. This plate basically pushes the pistons out and kicks all the, uh, the melons out and turns them into tasty food. And, uh, and if you go on this plate, it kicks all the pumpkins out and the pumpkins will now flow down to you and this you know sitting here takes a while so I don't think we'll just sit here and watch, watch the pumpkins flow forever but uh, and obviously it's not perfect like the pumpkins some get kicked over there but it was just a simple little project it was fun li fun little thing to do for a few minutes um, but the only things that are interesting worth noting is uh, so there's one way to wire pistons here um, which you may or may not know which is if you run the if you run the wire above the piston uh, this will actually kick the piston off. Um, I sort of forgot about that principle when I made this thing because uh, the original way I wired it was to do the, the uh, where you put the wire into the bottom of the piston. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, I just thought I'd show off that cute little thing. Oh, and this this just amused me was that <laughs> you could sort of put lily pads on top of uh, you know non-flowing water and they just kind of sit there. It just uh, looks kind of interesting. So anyway, that's about it. Um, and, uh, oh, and <laughs> probably the hardest part of this whole project, by the way, was putting those two melons there, because you can't actually place melons, so I leave that as a puzzle for how those melons got there. Bye now!